Now that is beautiful. Right? That is Isn't stunning. It? Yes. <sighs> Just not the cold weather though. Well, at least we had some sunshine. Can we, we did have a little of bit of that? sun. Yeah, I, I, I often tell people I feel like I can take a lot, but today's cold, for some reason, it just felt <laughs> extremely cold. Maybe that's why we were stuck in the 20s today. 29 yeah. degrees recorded at Cleveland Hopkins, and we also had a little bit of snow outside right now as well, or at least earlier today, I should say. Here is snowfall by the numbers. This is a little bit of graphic I put together for you guys, just to kind of snow, snow, listen at me, Lena, show where the numbers have been across <laughs> Northeast Ohio for today. Hey, it is midnight after all, my brain's shutting down. Bath coming in just under three inches, nearly three and a half for Montville. Look at this, Shaker Heights coming in just over uh, about four and a half inches there. Strongsville just under five. Chardon made it at five along with South Thompson and also North Royalton over five inches and nearly six for South Madison. So we're, here's where we are right now. These are surface temperatures. How do you like these apples? 15 degrees the surface temperature at Millicksburg, Worcester at 16, Ashland at 16, 18 over in Medina, Akron at about 27, and we're just under 30 degrees here in downtown Cleveland. So the next 12 hours, temperatures will be slipping back. We're likely gonna have some feels like temperatures in the upper single digits. We'll stay likely in the teens as we make our way towards about 11, 10 a.m for you tomorrow and then we start to climb a little bit. So we're going to start to trend a bit warmer because we're going to have a light southwest wind, at least south wind come on in Sunday leading towards Monday and certainly by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're much colder from 24 hours ago. We're starting to clear things out here. OK, so we'll allow our temperatures to fall even further with a few clouds leaking through overnight as well as calming winds. That is the recipes for a very, very cold night, my friends, and much of the lower 48 are experiencing some very cold temperatures as well. Even getting down to Miami, they're at 50 degrees, 35 in Jacksonville. So those uh, Jaguars are playing in very cold weather. 31 in DC right now and 20 over in Buffalo. We have to talk about what's happening here in the West though, because this is really kind of the uh, driver that is funneling all this activity into the Central Plains and may likely moving into the Midwest. We still have a lot of activity still channeling on the West Coast here. California still dealing with some mudslides, flooding, very heavy rain that pattern set to continue yet another week and would also dictate what we're experiencing as well. That atmospheric river that you've been hearing about on the news here that continues as well as pulling in all that tropic water vapor and dumping it in. We like to call it orographic lifting. We have that hit the surface, at least hit the topography, and then it rises, condenses, and then we get all that rain that's happening. And that's what's happening for those folks there. They do not need it even further. So as I said before, this is guiding our weather pattern. Look at this Sunday, mostly sunny skies. High pressure is going to be centered across the Buckeye State that will be moving eastward and we start to start to set the stage for increasing clouds late in the day on Monday heading towards Tuesday. This rain will likely be moving into northeast Ohio sometime on Tuesday, light to moderate showers and then becoming more widespread by Wednesday leading towards Thursday. That's because another system is going to be moving in coming out of the Four Corners region, flirting down to the south and then it's going to likely combine right across northeast Ohio. So widespread spread showers are going to be expected for Thursday. We could have a little bit of flooding come out of that as well. Once that passes, we're going to have that low dip down again. We got another trough, my friends, bring in that colder weather. So we're likely going to have Friday with uh, some scattered snow showers and that could bleed over into Saturday as well. So we'll keep that on top of our radar, but at least for tonight, we're going to keep some some partly cloudy skies out there. Teens expected. Few clouds moving through for tomorrow afternoon, as I said before, because it is still going to be a cold one out there. Temperatures on Sunday are going to be climbing to near normal, which is great news for us. We need our temperatures near normal. Mid to upper 30s expected, mid 40s expected on MLK Monday, and then back in the 50s we go. You can see there, Lena, Tuesday, frontal boundary arrives Wednesday, another warm front arrives to Thursday, and then we're back into the cold by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of the following week. You said back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back with Nick Camino next. <laughs>